And now, your NBC 26 Storm Shield forecast with meteorologist Gino Recchia. A gloomy start to the weekend with cloudy skies and scattered rain showers moving across the area. We did pick up a little bit of rain, not a whole lot, but still needed the umbrellas. A bit of a change from yesterday's beautiful weather with a bit of sunshine and temperatures into the 50s. We are a little bit cooler right now, about 7 to 10 degrees cooler right now than 24 hours ago. Low 40s across the area and ago cooler up towards uh, the north. 37 degrees right now as the current air temperature. 43 in Oshkosh and 44 in Fond du Lac. The high temperature today reached a 42 degrees and that was uh, mostly throughout the whole afternoon. 38 is our average. So hey, we're above average. That's at least something uh, good to look at, but record high 1931 61 degrees. Now as we turn the page over the next few days, it is going to get cooler. Our temperatures dropping below normal into the 20s and low 30s, but by the end of the work uh, week into the weekend, we could get into the mid and upper 30s and at least some dry weather as well. 41 right now as you step outside with winds out of the west at 16 miles per hour. We've got 40 degrees in Menominee, 40 in Nakanto, 42 in Kiwani and 39 in Appleton. We've got a little bit of rainfall, mostly predominantly over parts of Door County in Amir, Marinette, I should say this evening, a little bit of some light rainfall and farther up to the north as well as towards Land Lakes. They're seeing a little bit of a rain snow mix since it's cooler up there. Rainfall totals between about two tenths to three tenths of an inch. Not a whole lot of a, really a soaking rain, but just enough to wet the grass, wet the pavement. This system will be lifting out of the area tonight, but then another system moving in here. This is a storm that we were a little bit concerned with going into about the last, I'd say, 36 hours or so. Now this storm will be passing to the south and causing a lot of havoc on some folks over the central plains and into the Midwest. Blizzard warnings along the I-80 corridor stretching from Kansas, Nebraska into parts of Iowa and Missouri. Winter weather headlines stretch over about 1,200 miles just from this one storm system and closer towards our area. Winter storm warnings from northern Illinois into southern Wisconsin. A winter weather advisory for uh, Milwaukee where they look to be picking up a couple inches of snowfall. This is what Skycast shows. We stay under mostly cloudy to overcast skies. Then comes that storm system down to the south. That's why we'll stay under a good chunk of cloud cover because of the storm system tomorrow, but we're not going to see really any snowfall from it. Low pressure tracks up to the northeast through Indiana. Heavy snow over southern Wisconsin, northern Illinois into Michigan, and then the system lifts out of the area, and we could maybe see some clearing skies by Monday, but then backing in is some cloud cover from this uh, system that'll just stall out over the eastern Great Lakes. Here's a closer look. Skycast shows a little sliver of snowfall over southern Sheboygan County. Honestly, that looks to be the only and best chance of having any snowfall over the area. The heaviest snow will be passing down to the south where six to maybe near 12 inches of snow could fall over parts of Iowa into Illinois, even uh, maybe eight to 10 inches of snow in parts of Michigan. Closer here, you can see Milwaukee latest in-house model showing over seven inches of snowfall. So down to the south, seeing the snow here, we're not going to see anything. 31 degrees for an overnight low temperature. And then for tomorrow, we'll warm up to 35. Then mostly cloudy on Monday, 29, 33 on Wednesday. Chance of flurries Tuesday and Thursday. And then on Saturday, cloudy skies. And it does look like another system moves in here, Ryan, afterwards as we go towards Sunday and Monday. That looks to be rain right now. So winter is here. Winter's here, here, but at least we don't even have to grab the shovels just yet. Not just yet. All right, thanks, Gina. Appreciate it. We'll